Which Japanese sets of Pokemon reprinting this time? Let's look at the numbers. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Another week, another wave of reprints for Japanese Scarlet and Violet era sets. This time, it is the two base sets, Scarlet EX and Violet EX. They were originally released in January 2023, but they are hitting the printers again. This was confirmed yesterday by Carton Knight on X on Twitter. This is the same account that broke the 151 reprint news. They have a strong track record of knowing these things before you and I do. According to them, we will see these reprints in late May early June this year. Thanks, by the way, to Galaxy Card Shop for tipping me off on this. So, Shiny Treasures was on the printers again in March. Black Flame just got redone. We're supposedly going to see 151 at the end of May. We're all hoping for that. We are just seeing a lot of reprints right now as the Pokemon company seems to be ramping up their efforts to just crush the secondary market. They're going full scorched earth and, and it seems like they are winning this war. It really does. If, if their goal is to make the TCG more accessible by bringing the prices down, they are definitely, definitely winning. Every single set since Rule of the Black Flame is going at or below MSRP, including Mask of Change, which only just got released. Now, as far as pricing goes on these sets, the secondary market is already reacting. Violet, which is the more expensive set of the two, was going at a market price of like 10,500 yen a couple of days ago. That's 66 bucks, roughly US. Uh, now it is at 8,400, so $53 US, thanks to Pokeball Billion uh, for the price on those. And now, Violet and Clayburst are really kind of the last bastions of hope I think we have for boxes staying above MSRP, but you know, I expect Violet to just start sinking like a stone over the next couple of weeks. I really do. According to Carton Knight, this is going to be a fairly large reprint. So what does that mean for you? What should you guys be doing? How should you be reacting? Well, guys, you can do whatever you want. I'm just a guy making videos for fun in my basement. Here's what I think though. Uh, if you own any of the singles and you are hoping they would go up, in the next few months to a couple of years, you're screwed, you're screwed. These, these singles are going nowhere for you guys, okay? Uh, if you are a seller sitting on inventory, if you've got these boxes right now sitting somewhere, uh, I would be blowing through that stuff as quickly as you can, like blow out pricing, get on a stream, start doing box breaks, all that crazy stuff. Uh, if you're an investor sitting on these boxes, uh, it's stick or twist time, it really is. If you're sticking, then it, this is a long, long hold. Those those boxes are staying in the cupboard until you have got gray hair. Like, honestly, I personally, I am just praying for the waifu own owners out there who are holding on to that Miriam card. I mean, spare a thought for the poor soul who paid almost $1,500 US for a PSA 10 version of this card at the very top. Because with more of these cards hitting the market, it is just it is really not, not looking good for those guys, especially now there are newer, younger waifu out there in more suggestive poses. For example, Carmine just came out from Mask of Change. I mean, is that a candy apple or are you just happy to see me? What, what is she gonna do with that? Yeah, anyway, that's gross. Anyway, waifu aside, there are some truly, truly, truly gorgeous cards in both of these sets that will only become more affordable with the reprints. It is a great time if you are a collector, an awesome time to be buying stuff for cheap. But investors, don't lose hope. Don't lose hope, guys. I'll be buying a couple of these boxes likely in June. I don't have any right now. I don't have any of these. Uh, look for them on the display behind me when I pick them up. Uh, neither of these sets is a monster. Like, let's get that out of the way right now. Neither one of these is going to the moon. You're not gonna become a millionaire investing in these boxes, but they will do well in the long run. You'll make a profit in these in the long run, right? It'll be a few years down the line, but you will. And this is honestly the best time to buy. If you can get in you know, below or close to that MSRP on the export market, you're just minimizing all the risk and you can just relax, right? You're not buying in at the top. Anyway, they're getting reprinted. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Are you buying this? Are you gonna sell it? What's happening? And until next time, guys, take it easy.